Vegetation and Wildlife of Africa Climate has a major influence on the kind of vegetation and animal life it has, making each climatic region different from the other. The equatorial region being hot and wet, it has highly dense forests with trees growing very close together. The branches on the top form a kind of blanket, keeping away sunlight and making the forests dark. Trees, creepers, bushes and thick undergrowth of plants between trees are found here. Plenty of rain ensures that the trees do not shed their leaves at any particular time of the year, making them evergreen trees. They also have broad leaves, mainly hardwood trees used for making furniture like mahogany, ebony and rosewood are found here. Animals like chimpanzees, monkeys, gorillas, buffaloes and leopards are found here. Okapi, a brown-bodied animal with white striped legs, resembles a horse but is from the giraffe family. Such striped animals camouflage themselves by imitating the sun's rays as they penetrate the forests. Apart from crocodiles and hippopotamuses in the swamps and rivers, bright colored insects and birds like parrots, hornbills, robins are also common here. Tropical grasslands or savannas are vast grassy plains. Small amount of rainfall not sufficient for tall trees to grow supports short trees with flat tops and grass. Among several varieties of grass, some grow up to 4.5 meters in height, known as elephant grass. Baobab tree is an important tree whose trunk is shaped like a barrel to store water. The trunk can be up to 10 meters in diameter and can store up to 120,000 liters of water. Thirsty travelers can often get water from the baobab tree. The grasslands are home to many grass-eating animals like zebras, wildebeests, giraffes, rhinoceros and elephants. Animals that hunt them like the cheetah and the African lion are also found here. The yellow sun-scorched grass provides excellent camouflage for yellow-skinned lion and cheetah. The varied vegetation of the grasslands provides ample food for animals of all sizes. This vertical feeding pattern reduces competition. The giraffe feed on the upper branches while elephants eat the leaves of lower branches. Zebras eat the top of the grasses. Wildebeests eat the rest of the stem and the gazelles eat the young shoots. The desert region has scanty vegetation. Plants that grow here can conserve and store water while the animals that can survive with very little water live here. Adax, a kind of antelope, never drinks water. It gets the water it needs from the plants and food that it eats. Desert animals also find their way to keep cool. Jaboa, the desert rat, sleeps during the day in a hole and covers the entrance to keep out the hot air. It only comes out at night to feed. Other animals found here are the desert fox, scorpions, lizards, various kinds of insects, gazelles, donkeys and horses. The camel is the ship of the desert as it is used by humans to carry loads across the deserts. They are specially adapted to this kind of climate and can go on long time without water. When camels find water, they can drink about 115 liters of it at once. Survival in the African desert is a challenge due to scanty water, high temperatures and drying winds. Plants survive by spreading roots far and wide to absorb any dew at night or rainwater before it trickles further down. Some plants like acacia have roots around 30 meters or more 
to reach underground water. During the driest season, the leaves are shed to prevent loss of water through evaporation. Some stems are broad and green to manufacture food along with leaves, while some are leathery and waxy to prevent water loss. Some others have spines to protect from grazing animals. Here the plant survives on the water it stores. As it uses up the water, the stem gradually shrivels until the next rainfall. The camel is the most important and best known desert animal. It has humps on its back to store fat, which can be broken down to provide energy and water. Its toes are joined together by a fleshy pad to stop it from sinking into the soft sand. Its fur keeps it cool during the day and warm at night. Its nostrils, double eyelids and long eyelashes protect the nose and eyes from sand. It can lose about one third of its body weight and still survive. And within 10 minutes of drinking water, it returns to its normal appearance. The vegetation of the Mediterranean region is adapted to the hot and dry summers. Olives, citrus fruits, cork and vines are plants of economic importance. While the trees found here are oak, walnut, almond, fig, cedar, pine and fir. Tall trees are rare and much of forest area has been removed to make land available for agriculture. Hot and dry climate has led the plants to adapt in similar ways as in the deserts. The vines have long roots to search underground water. Citrus plants have thick leathery leaves while olive trees have waxy leaves to reduce water loss. The cock tree develops spongy barks to protect from summer heat. Since there are no extensive forests, not much of wildlife is found here. Mainly domesticated animals like cattle and sheep are found in this region. The temperate grassland or the veld is an open treeless plain which due to insufficient rainfall does not support trees. Hence, short grass that is shorter than the savannas grows everywhere with thorny bushes and shrubs. Only on the hill slopes that get more rains, some trees grow like willow and poplar. Animals like antelopes and donkeys are found here. The monsoon type of vegetation varies according to rainfall. Areas with heavy rainfall have dense forests and tropical deciduous trees grow here. They shed their leaves just before the dry season. Teak is an important tree of this region. The China type of vegetation includes temperate deciduous trees like oaks, 